sending webhooks to your broker so you can automate your strategy. Now, before we get into the details of that, I want to talk about generally how we would do this so you have a better understanding of what you need to do to automate your strategy. So first off, if you want to send a webhook, you need a paid account on TradingView. If you don't have a paid account, there is another way through the browser where you download a browser extension and you use AutoView. This video won't be going into details for that, but there is another option. Most of you will be using webhooks and we'll be focusing on that. If you've never set up a webhook, go to your alerts and to your notifications, your webhook URL will be right here. This will be locked if you don't have a paid account. Now, how does this work? So we're going to have our trading view right here and we will set an alert we'll call it a uh, strategy alert right and that will be our webhook from there we will have the broker that this alert is going to be sent to now this broker could be your actual exchange but in order for you to set this up correctly you'll need to go to the exchange api and you'll have to work through their api and it can get quite complicated now if you don't want to go the complicated route there is an easier way where there are broker integrators and what these services have done is they've created a syntax that has simplified the process and they've connected to a large number of exchanges. So you just send your webhook to them. They take the alert syntax that you sent to them with your order details, and then they'll send it over to your broker. Now, most of these services cost money. There are some services that are free. We'll go through them and I'll show you how those work. So in this example, you're going to send your alert and it's going to go to the broker. And let's say, for example, we're using one called Traders Post. Okay. And then from there, they'll send the order over to your exchange where it will then be processed and executed on the order books. Okay. And this could be any exchange that is integrated into Traders Post or whatever third party broker that you use. So there's a quite a process here but it's not that complicated. So what kind of brokers are we looking at? Well, there's a whole lot of options out there. I have a list here on this GitHub link that I've made. These brokers will integrate your webhooks into different exchanges. So three commas is more uh, cryptocurrency focused and Alertatron goes through Telegram, Discord, Slack, along with other exchanges there's all these other ones i mentioned auto view if you want to use a google chrome extension and actually not have to use webhooks there's a bunch of other ones in here you can take a look at these the one i'm going to recommend that is the most user friendly i think is traders post and if you go and click on it it'll bring you to the website here you'll go in you'll make an account and they actually have quite a few different assets that you can use so stocks, if you trade stocks, they'll hook you up to your, your stock exchange options. Forex coming soon, crypto and futures, right? So if you if you trade mainly Forex with your strategy, you'll have to use a different broker emulator. And there are ones in here. So we're going to go ahead and make an account on Traders Post. I won't go through that process. And we'll come back to this in the next video. And we're going to set up an alert to send to Traders Post.